Hey what's up guys, this is Saman here from Expert Gadgets and this is my review of the Infinix 08. So without any further delay, let's get this video started. Looking to stand out with something different, Infinix went with an interesting design, which fully comes into view on the backside of the device that can hardly be seen anywhere else. It sets the Infinix 08 apart, makes it stand out. It's been a while since Infinix made such a bold statement design-wise. The good looks are complemented by an equally acceptable feel when you lift the device. It's solid, sturdy and ergonomic. The latter point is enforced by the placement of the power button, which also doubles as a fingerprint scanner, which by the way is very fast. If you look at the bottom, it even comes with a relic of the past, the headphone jack. Now this is something I really appreciate Infinix putting it on their flagship phone. And another thing I really appreciate is the dual SIM and SD card slot. And that SD card slot is not a hybrid but separate, so you can put in two SIM cards and an SD card at the same time, which really does come in handy. The front design is defined by slim bezels and an acceptable chin that is slightly large. It comes together nicely, even though there is no hiding that near 7 inch display and a punch hole camera cutout to accommodate the dual front facing camera. Talking about the display, it has a 6.85 inch IPS panel. Of course, there's the added plus that this is Infinix's first high refresh rate display. With the display set at 90Hz right out of the box, you get to experience the improved motion from the first interaction with this device. The brightness is also decent and can be easily viewed in the daylight too. Plus the colors are vibrant and images look really good. The Infinix 08 is powered by a MediaTek Helio G90T chipset which has to work with 8GB of memory available. Need to play a game? Even though it's graphically intensive, it'll do it. Need to chat with people on Zoom in these social distancing times? The 08 will take that and still spare some room to fire up a document on Google Drive to compare notes. What more could you ask? Coming to the software, the XOS 7 is heavily customized. There are lots of added features and settings as well as pre-installed applications. Given that a lot of these can be turned off, uninstalled or disabled, there shouldn't be any problems. And this makes the UI a lot smoother. Plus you get a lot of quirky features like the folder app where you can easily swipe to switch between folders. And it's also got a nice game mode. Coming to the battery, it's got a 4500mAh unit that will easily last you throughout the whole day. Using the included 30W charger, the device charges fully in just an hour. And in case you're in a hurry, just 15 minutes of juicing up gets you 40% charge. More than enough to, at least in my case, go out and get back to the house before needing another top up. Even though it has an 8 core processor and 90Hz display, you can easily get a full day battery life. But if you want more, you can just switch to 60Hz for additional juice. The Infinix 08 has a total of 6 cameras, 4 at the back and 2 on the front. On the front it has a 48 megapixel main sensor and an 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor. On the back it's got a 64 megapixel main sensor backed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor and a combo of 2 megapixel sensors for bokehs and what have you. The front duo combines to produce some sharp crisp detailed selfies. There's still the kind of bleed that you get when the background is bright but that is remedied when the HDR kicks in. Flipping to the back side of the device, the so-called AI quad cam does a really good job of combining the power of the monster 64 megapixel lens and that from the supporting cast. It is a delight to use outdoors or when there is sufficient lighting, and the night mode certainly makes night shots look a lot better. The Infinix 08 can record videos up to 30 frames per second in 4K and 60fps in Full HD for both the front and back facing shooters. Overall the phone feels really good, not just using it but in the hands as well. Plus the extremely fast fingerprint and face unlock with the addition of that 90Hz display makes it really snappy and fun to use. It can easily handle games and any task you throw at it. And it does all that with enough battery to last you throughout the night. For the price of just $250, it even offers a protective case. And all in all, I don't think you will find a better phone that offers so much for that price. So that was it for this video guys, do leave a thumbs up if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming content. And as always, thanks for watching, this is Saman, signing out.